back when Hard Hat Lenny was out on the old train tracks and we'd play until there was a rock in the shoe and sure enough comes little Sally Salisbury. As if I need their help, the Bunny Hill. Why, I've been skiing ever since they strapped two salamanders to your feet and pushed you from the top of Old Smoky all covered with cheese. Me and Sunflower Seed Steve would each grab a tuft of clovers and say our prayers before. Whoa! Oh, oh God, I'm done for. A, a chili gremlin! Good golly, I'm saved. Lead the way, little buddy. Christ, a chili gremlin. Call the CIA. Fear not, George. He is a friend. They're our protectors. Spirits of the forest who guide the lost to salvation. He had told me the stories of his people, and I told him of mine. The peace we've made here today should be an example of what's possible when we come together, not as nations or ideologies, but living beings. Worry not, lads and lassies, for the knight has returned from his perilous adventure to the... Whoa! Can't see a damn thing in this helmet. Just take it off, then. Joe? Did he hear you? Joe, can you hear me? Take off the Are helmet. Are you saying something? Oh, my God. I said just take off the I, helmet. I can't hear you with the helmet on. Good grief. Hey, I can see! And look, George is here, dressed up like a little flamboyant peasant boy. I'm a court jester. A gay court jester. How fun. I'll beat you guys to the stands. Ouch. Uh, back in my prime, I could knock 50 men off their steeds. Um, of course, that, that, that was back when jousting was two fellows riding pigs and making them run with a carrot on a stick. Golly, the tricks I used to do off that board. Quintuple hand knot with a half board quickie. Now that was a sight to behold. Of course, they didn't have cameras or electricity back in those days, so nobody ever got to see it. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think the pools had water in them yet. Exactly how old are you? As old as the bark on the tree clings to the mossy stump of old Mr. McGrubbins, my friend. You can do it, George. Remember, just let the power of the epic dive come into your heart. Let it come onto you, George, onto your face and hands. What the hell? Back in the day, there was a fella in my neighborhood by the name of Barney Buckwheat who pulled around a cart full of ice cream for just a quarter a pint. During the summer, the kids would line up around the block with their quarters in hand waiting for old Barney to bring a delicious scoop of butterscotch ripple or rocky road. Ever since I saw the smiles he brought those kids, I've wanted an ice cream truck of my own. Finally, a normal story. Uh, of course, you wanted to make sure you weren't too close to the road or, or Barney would scoop you up in his cart oh my God. and take you back to his lair for consumption. We, we lost poor Junebug Jenny that way. That's right. Ah, nuts. I guess my dream of being an ice cream truck driver is melted like a sticky chocolate chocolate chip ice cream on a warm July day. Did somebody say nuts? Huh? Jimmy, Jimmy Carter? Carter? Great garbanzo. What luck. Thank you, Jimmy. There was a lady in my village named Tonyar who could make a wonderful turducken. Of course, her version used dead crows and bits of gravel, but her crow rockin' couldn't be beat. Okay. I can go ask that cow for some eggs. She has generous eyes. Holy moly. I haven't been in a store this pack since they released this fancy new invention called sliced bread. Of course, I never thought it would catch on, but hey, stranger things have happened. Well, it's... Hey, I could throw this banana up there as a peace offering. Here you go, little fella, a gift from one primate to another. Ooh! Your idea to teach our little monkey friend how to play baseball was wonderful, George. Oh, sorry, our little ape friend.